Hey, what's going on everybody? This episode, what are we going to be talking about? Oh, you guessed it. We're going to be talking about how to get input from the user. So this is going to be very important if you want to create something like a to-do list or a shopping list or pretty much any time you want someone to type something in, you need to know how to do this. So pay attention. All right? I'm not repeating myself. All right, I'll probably end up repeating myself later on, but we'll see. So what we need to do is we need to go into our activity main.xml take a look at your palette and go into text and we'll just go with plain text we'll drag that onto the page now I mentioned again we're not super worried about the looks right now but just so things are kind of looking pretty good you can posit you can anchor these to the left and right and the top just so it's not popped up to the top left corner so that kind of anchors everything and pretty soon we will get into more of the design or just throughout this series and honestly there's so much stuff here that I could probably do a micro series just going through all of it so that might be something you guys will see pretty soon here in the future because there's a lot of stuff like the anchoring as well as this issue here with the string we'll get into that really soon so we created this plain text and it has an ID edit text 3 I don't really like that name so I'm just going to rename it to source so basically it's the source of the the uh, data and now let's talk about how to get that so we can get that on in code within the on create that's going to be immediately so is that very useful mm, probably not because that's not going to give anybody any time to write anything uh, but let's just show you guys that real quick no I don't feel like showing you guys that that's stupid <laughs> why would I why would I say it's not a good idea and then I'll show you that that's all right what we're gonna do is we're going to create an event handler public void um, I don't even know what to call it man that's the hardest part handle text and this is going to take a view call it V whatever you want to call it and you notice that it automatically imported this for me but if, if yours did not type that out I showed you guys how to enable that in an earlier episode. All right, next up, what we're gonna do is we have to think about how we get the value right here, this name. Right now it's just name. What what is uh what can we do to, to grab that? Well, if you look in here, it's highlighting this text field. So that's that's what we want. We want this text attribute. So let's try and grab that in code. So we'll say V. All right, now here's the thing. How is this method going to get called? Well, let's before we grab the text, we have to figure out how how is this going to get executed. Let's take a look back at our XML. And I think the easiest way is probably on a button click. So let's do that. Let's grab a button. Drag that right here. We'll anchor it relative to the input field and to the left and right beautiful I mean it's not gorgeous but it's good enough now on here we can name this just button and what is it gonna do on click we will just call it handle text right there and you can see it gave us some options there which is pretty awesome alright so we got that now when we click that button this method will be executed and this V here actually refers to that button not the text so this is why we need that r.id thing. So we'll say find view by id, pass in r.id dot source. So that is the whole process to get the view, specifically the input field. Now what you can do is you can say dot text, but or get text, but you'll notice nothing actually shows up here because we've talked about this earlier. The the view doesn't have that attribute so we need to cast it to be of whatever type this is and you can go in here and you can see that this is just plain text I think it's just text view I'm not sure how to find that <laughs> I'm a terrible teacher all right text view T and we'll assign this to it so now we can say T dot get text and let's just take a look at that real quick when when you type this out you should get you can hover over this and uh, you can see that it's a char sequence so that's what it returns and we want a string so what we can do is we can say get text 
dot to string and then we can assign this to a string variable input like so so that's the whole process and now input should have that value so what we can do is we can just check that uh, let's log dot d and we're going to say just tag it as info and then the actual value is going to be input all right so now what we can do is we can go into log cat and we're going to search for our tag there info and when we run this application and we take a look over here when we click that button that method should be executed and it should log that whatever we put in here so we'll click button take a look at our log oh no something's not working let's try typing something in here oh um, again we need to make sure we're on <laughs> I think this is because I had an emulator installed earlier and uh, I, I uninstalled it I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure why it doesn't default to the the correct one but make sure you select that that correct emulator there hey this is real time guys this is the kind of stuff you experience when you're programming I'm not gonna hide too much all right <laughs> so you can see it actually did work we just weren't able to see it because we were on the wrong profile here so it executed it put name there three times and then name FFE so anytime we put something in here we can uh, have it show up so we can say Caleb select button and there you go button so hopefully that's helpful on how to get the text from a text input thank you guys for watching please be sure to subscribe because we're going to be working with these inputs for all kinds of cool apps did want to mention one additional thing we used text view here and obviously that worked just fine earlier i went over to the xml and i was like okay what well, what class is this and i wasn't able to find it well I actually realized if you hover over here on the component tree it'll tell you this is of type edit text so what we can do is we can go back to our java and change this from text view to, to edit text and that's just a little bit more uh, appropriate it's more specific so everything should work exactly the same way obviously if you didn't use edit edit text it's not gonna break anything because we tried it and it worked just fine so our app should work exactly the same way we just put something on here press button and look it shows up right there so I just wanted to give you guys that little bit extra information. Hopefully that just shows a little bit of how programming goes. So thank you guys and I'll see you in the next episode.